Hi, everybody. My name is Coach Mick here with the Real Tennis Network at realtennisnetwork.com. And I'm here to show you a little bit about what a podcast is. You know, I'm, I'm on my second episode right now. I'm really excited. And I've been telling people that I teach on the tennis court all about my podcast. I haven't really put it out yet because I want to get a few episodes in there so you can sink your teeth into more than just one or two. And the first couple are a little more orientational anyway. But point being is when I talk to these people on the tennis court and I say, hey, I've got this podcast. It's great. You can listen to it. And they say, what's a podcast? And I'm like, well, it's something you can get on your smartphone, on your tablet, on your computer. You can, you know, there's lots of different ways you can listen to it. But a podcast is basically an on-demand radio show that you can listen to whenever you want. So if I want to listen to a specific topic, let's say on um, podcasting, and I want to go hear somebody talk about podcasting or how I can become a better podcaster, I would go listen to a podcast about podcasting or woodworking or bread making or whatever. And I can find a show that would interest me. I can listen to it. I can listen to half of it and, you know, push pause and come and listen to the next half later. You know, I heard a statistic once that the average drive to work is 26 minutes. So, and that's not where I live. I live in a pretty small town, but uh, in bigger towns, it's even longer than that. And so what are you going to do for 26 minutes? You might listen to some tunes or something, you know, whatever. But what I like to do is I like to listen to podcasts and some podcasts I can listen to a comedy podcast and sit there and, you know, laugh. Well, there was one time coming back from Thanksgiving with my family uh, back to where I live. And I actually was laughing so hard I was tearing up. So uh, sometimes I like to listen to those or just listen to some music or listen to something I can learn about. So anyway, I'm sitting here in my basement and this is where I do all of my all of my recording from. And if you could see in front of me here, you'd see just a big pile of junk on the desk right here, you know, but you don't see my mixers or compressors or anything like that. But if you look over here, you can see my white screen. If you've seen some of my white screen videos, I pull that down. I do my... Uh, I have a, a white screen behind me and I light that up. If you see just above that, you can see the green screen. If you look over here, you can see where I've got some lights up there and those are the lights that I use. And I'm gonna move the microphone here just for a second here and you can look at this, this whiteboard back there. Now that's a whiteboard that I made uh, at Home Depot and I just got some whiteboard and some plywood and I got some sheet metal and I made a magnetized whiteboard and I think I spent a total of like 50 bucks on it and used some electrical tape to make the tennis court instead of spending about 600 bucks on something like that. So I'm going to hopefully be using that in some of my later episodes to show you some tactics. I just recorded some guys at the club the other day and uh, I'm going to be using that board along with that video. Now, if you look there, that's one of my pride and joys right there. That's a Von Lendl. He was one of my idols when I was growing up and that picture was on my wall behind my couch. That was the centerpiece of my house until I got married. And then when I got married, it wasn't the centerpiece of my house anymore. So uh, 12 years ago, that picture was down. But I did put my studio together, and that's one of the first things I put up. So there you go, honey. The picture's back up. But unfortunately, it's in the basement down in a corner. So uh, you're happy. I'm happy. As a matter of fact, I showed that picture to Yvonne Lendl about six months ago when I was on the Champions Tour. I was working with Prince on the court, so I got a chance to meet Pete Sampras and Yvonne Lendl and John McEnroe. And uh, who else was there? Um, Jim Courier. And I talked to him, and I actually showed him that picture. And he said, boy, I barely remember that. And uh, I remember it. So anyway, uh, that's my one of my drum sets behind me. Sometimes if I'm feeling like i got to jam out a little bit before I get on the on the podcast just to keep my energy up. I'll do that a little bit. So anyway, let's get back to what a podcast is about. And, you know, the reason I'm doing this podcast is because I want to have a relationship with you, our listener. And I don't want to just sit here behind this microphone right here and talk about what I know, because I know I can do that all day long. But what I really would love to do is to be able to have you communicate with me and tell me what you want to hear. And in doing that, I can come up with some great episodes with my knowledge. I can call experts and interview experts on their knowledge. And at the same time, we can help each other out. You can learn more about tennis and taking your game to the next level. And I can learn more about tennis as well and talking to these experts and helping me take my podcast to the next level as well so that this will be a place that you can come to and know that you can get your questions answered. 
So I'm going to start off online here, and I am going to go to Real Tennis Network. And I'm going to show you the site real quick here. All right, there we go. And this is Real Tennis Network. And if you see here, you can see we've got our our home page and it's going to show the post there and every time I do a new podcast or video it's going to show up on the home page and as you can see I've got just those two and those podcasts will go over onto the podcast page over here that that page is going to look exactly the same but if I have a video on the home page it'll go on the video page it won't go on this podcast page so this will only be podcasts and they are going to be categorized too with strategy mental technique tactics things like that now, if you look on the right here, you'll see this big red button. This is what I talk about all the time. And uh, this site, by the way, is responsive. So you'll see this on your smartphone as well. You'll see this big red button. If I hit, if I click on that, you'll see this box pop up and it says send a voice message to realtennisnetwork.com. And if you hit start recording, you'll see this box and it says camera and microphone access. And it's requesting access to your camera and your microphone. And if you click allow, you may start recording. And so by clicking allow, that's like what Skype does. Skype uses your video camera and it uses your microphone. So you push allow and then now I'm recording. And I say, hello, uh, my name is, is Chris Michalowski. And I wanna know how come every time I hit my kick serve, it goes into the net. I'm having a really tough time with that. Then you push stop. And what you can do is you can listen to it first before you send it. You can put your name and your email on there. If you like, you don't have to do that. But if you push play, oh, and then now I'm recording. And I say, hello, uh, my name is is Chris Michalowski. And, and there you go. And what you can do is once you hit send right there, if you hit send, that'll go straight to my email. Now, if you, um, if you decide to do that, and if you see here on this thing, it says RTN reserves all rights to recordings. I just put that in there because I want to be able to use your questions or your comments on the air, even your feedback and say, hey, Mick, can you tell us more about this? And I'll say, yeah, I'd love to. And that's where you come in because I want to dry, I want to, I want to make this podcast about you. I want you to have a relationship with me and you can do that on the uh, website or you can do it on our Facebook page or Twitter and hopefully when you listen let's say we're going to go listen to choosing the right tennis racket to fit your game style all right or let's just do the, the zero here this this one when you click on it you'll see that a little player will pop up on every post so here's some show notes about that and all that um, and if you click on this player uh, right here Real Tennis Network, episode zero. Instructional, entertaining, and like informative that. And you can through listen an association to the podcast of like that. All right. And you can listen to that. Or if I go back to my home page and say, well, I already listened to that four times. I probably listened to it about 12 times. Um, I can say, I want to listen to this guy talk about rackets. And there you go. And there's the next post there. And we take some notes there. We actually had a couple of questions there. And my answers to those questions. And again, you can listen to the podcast right there by clicking that. Now, there's other ways on your computer if you don't want to go to the website. Well, if you, if you don't. And I'll show you a few things I've got down there, by the way. I'm working on those things. It's not completely done yet, so uh, I'm working on it. And it just takes me a lot of time. And I do this in my spare time right now. It's about quarter after 10 on Sunday night. So I am want to go to iTunes. So I'm going to click out of this. And I want to go to iTunes. I click on my iTunes here. And let's just pretend that I'm not there. Let's pretend I'm in my music store there. Okay, there he is, the great Gatsby. And I want to go to a podcast and listen to podcasts. So I'm going to go to Real Tennis Network right there, push search, and there I am. I pop up right there. And if you look, on um, episode zero was really popular. But if you look at episode one, not so popular. So I just got that one out. So hopefully you'll listen to it. And if you do... Uh, you'll learn about how to choose the right racket for yourself with Gus Giltner. And he is the Prince Rep for the state of Michigan and Northern Ohio and Northern Indiana. He is a great guy and a great buddy of mine. If you look here, the podcast is free. It doesn't cost anything to listen to the podcast. If you click see all, you'd see all of my podcast episodes. But as of right now, that's the ones, that's where they're at. So that's only two. So if I listen to episode one here, I just click play. 
You tell me to come to the net, and I get passed all the time. My back is terrible. Every time I try to hit my slice serve, it goes in the Why net. Why do I lose to those dinkers all the time? Instructional, right, entertaining, you hear that podcast. I'm just going to push pause there. So you can go to the website. You can listen to it. You can go to your iTunes and listen to it. And you can do the same thing on your iTunes, on your tablet, on your smartphone, uh, anywhere. Now, if, if you listen to it on, on your smartphone right here, you can actually, I, in my car, I just put a little audio jack in there and I have the, the cassette tape thing because I don't have the new car yet. And I put that cassette tape in the cassette player and I just listen to it. It's great. And I can listen to music on this. I listen to Pandora on this, anything. Or if you have the audio jack, just put the audio jack in this end, audio jack and the audio jack in your car and you're good to go. Some cars are even equipped with uh, podcasting now, which is really cool. So anyway, like we said, it's on-demand radio. Now, I am going to try something different here. I am going to go to my phone, and hopefully this is going to work here, and I'm going to click on what on AirPlay here, and let's go here. My phone should pop up right there. All right, and it did. All right, so, so anyway, um, I'm going to go off the screen here at the bottom because I'm going to be looking at my phone a lot. I don't want you looking in my ears and... Uh, I want you to pay attention to the phone. So if you look at my phone here, and this is my my iPhone, and you can see I have a ton of apps. I got some really cool tennis apps there. If you uh, go to our uh, website, I'm going to show you how on, on this app I actually do a really cool gig on recording and analyzing uh, different tennis strokes. And if you look at, I could actually look at this person right here, push analyze, and if I turn the phone sideways here, and you'll see it. I can actually thumb through it. I can I can draw lines on it. I can draw circles on it like that. I can even draw little arrows or squiggly lines. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's get back to how to find a podcast, though, on your phone. So I'm going to scroll over here to my iTunes at the top here. All right, so I'm going to click on that iTunes app right there. And there you go. And it looks like I was looking up something on Hufa. All right, so I'm going to look up something. Let's look up on something on fishing. I'm going to go to fishing and I'm going to search fishing and let's see what they have here on fishing. It's something I'm interested in. I like to fish. wish I could fish a little more. And it looks like they got a bunch of songs and some albums. Let's go to more here. Maybe I'll be able to find podcasts. There we go. All right. So, I'm going to look for some podcasts on fishing. And wow, that looks like a cool one. The Orvis Fly Fishing Guide Podcast. So if I click on that, all right, there we go. Now on my phone, it says there, uh, iPhones come with a podcast app already pre-installed. So it's going to it's gonna flip me over to the, the podcast app. So you push that open podcast and it will send you straight to the app. I'm just going to click out of that. And so you can see... Uh, the podcast app on my phone here. All right, where is it? Okay, there it is. Under it's that purple one on the bottom there. And I'm going to push it. Whoa, look, it's at the top. It's Real Tennis Network. What do you know? What a revelation, huh? Okay, and that show, that's my library. All right, that's my library of uh, podcasts. But let's say I go to the podcast store here, and it looks like I already... Um, typed in fishing. I would just type in F I S H fishing. All right. Which I did right there. And there's that Orvis one. And you know, that's some of the featured ones. If you scroll around here, it'll show you a bunch more going this way. So I'm going to click on the Orvis one there and there it is. And if you look at, uh, that I'm going to go to the top there so you can kind of see the picture again, talks a little bit about the description and, the details and you know and then you can see all the podcasts here wow hang on let me go all the way see how many podcasts i got all right they got 208 podcasts only 206 more than i have so i gotta get it on the ball here all right so let's say let's go back up here to the top and let's say i want to listen to tom's 10 excuses all right for uh I just click on that and I guess I could, I could turn the volume up a little bit. I'm uh, Tony Tennyson calling again from Halifax, Nova Scotia, on uh, on the way to the river here. All right, so you hear that? Okay, I'm gonna turn the volume down. All right, all the way down there. Uh, 
Uh, All right. Uh, we'll pick up over the winter. There we go. Your, uh, small I'm, I'm going to push pause there, too. I'm getting a, a bad signal there. Now, uh, if you look on this, though, I can just touch the screen here, All right, which I'll do. And if I touch the screen, you'll see that uh, a little box will pop up there with a line on it. Now you can see on this on this podcast here, I could take I could move that red line and uh, to the right and to the left. That's that's where you know I could just fast forward anywhere. It's high speed scrubbing. I could push that one X, and if I pushed it, now it's going to go one and a half times. I'll talk a little faster and even faster at two. You know, and 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 so forth. I can go slower, and if you push that clock in the middle, all right, that little alarm clock with the Z's by it. That's kind of a a cool little deal. And I can do a sleep timer and say, hey, um, I want to be able to in 15 minutes. I want it to turn off for me because I know I'm not going to listen to the whole thing and I'm not going to know where to find it again. So I want to do that. Or what I could do. All right, is uh, that little arrow to the right of that is my share button. If you look at the bottom, you've got your play button down there. You have got move ahead 15 minutes or excuse me, 15 seconds or back it up 15 seconds. You might say, hey, he said something really cool about how to tie a blood knot. And I want to I want to listen to that one more time. You know, and then if you look at the very top, you'll see a plus sign up there. I'm going to I'm going to hit that plus sign right there, and it says subscribe or cancel. I'm going to hit subscribe, and that's what I hope you'll do to the Real Tennis Network and hit subscribe. All right, and then when I'm done listening to it, I'm all done, and I can push the done button. And when I go back, now you see the search button up there. When I go back to my library up here in the upper right, you can see where there he is, the Orvis Fly Fishing, and it's got one episode. And that's pretty cool. So... I've got that lined up, and I can listen to that whenever I want, listen to all the episodes, and I can make sure it downloads. You know, always keeps the last 10 in there for me. It's got some great things. Now, I'm going to click out of this, and I'm going to go to an app that I like. I'm just used to this app, and if you look over here, I'm going to flip over here. It's called Stitcher. It's that one on the upper left there below my utilities. And if I click on uh, Stitcher, well, the way you'd find Stitcher, first of all, is just go to your app store. You know, I'd click on that. And uh, you can see, I, I think I already searched for it. Yeah, I hit the search button at the bottom, and I hit Stitcher, and it tells me a little bit about Stitcher and all that, and you know, it might show me some screenshots of what's going on there. Stitcher's great. It has a big news thing. It just You can play all the news headlines on there. So just hit play the latest headlines, and it just plays the headlines for you. So if you like listening to the news, maybe in your car, you know, and listen to commercials, just hit that news headline feed, and maybe I'll show you that if I have time, and it's pretty cool. All right, and so if you look, it says on mine, it says open at the top because I've already downloaded it. You can see it's pretty popular. And it might say download, so you download that. And when you download it, you get uh, it downloaded onto your homepage right here. And so there it is on my homepage. And if I hit the Stitcher app right here, and it's going to hopefully open up for me and not take too long. I only have one bar right there. Oh, now I'm in a good spot, so hopefully it'll load up right there and see there's news headlines what's hot what's new and if if you just click on that first one it'll play that first one then it'll play the second one then play the third one and it's pretty cool how it just goes through all of these things right here um but if you on mine if i hit those little squares in the upper corner there you can see where it says my stations which is kind of neat and i push on my stations and then i got my favorites playlist and what do you know the real tennis network is right there all right, and I've got all my podcasts that I listen to right there. You can see I've got Learning with Leslie, the Podcaster Studio, Social Media Marketing, you know, all kinds of stuff down here, all the way down. So quite a few that I listen to. Handle on the Law is a great one. Bill Handel, he's on KFI in Los Angeles, does a Saturday morning show for like six hours, and he's an attorney, and you just call and ask him questions, and he just tears you up. And he's, he's pretty funny to listen to. And you can even hear him on iHeartRadio. Now, if you look... At let's say let's go to um, the Real Tennis Network, and I click on that. Now that I've downloaded that, if I like it, I can download that. And you can see once I'm listening, once I click on a, a podcast, like if like if I went back and I went to I went back to search. Let's go to back and do my search. 
kind of go back one more here. Okay. I'm going to go to Browse Shows here. And I'm going to search in fishing. Let's do that one again. F-I-S-H-I-N-G. Fishing. That's what I'm going to search for. And that's going to pop up here pretty quick. And, uh-oh, I put two Fs in there. Hopefully it'll, it'll show me. All right, so let's just see. It's got that Orvis one down there again. So I'm going to click on that. I like that. So I click on that one, and it shows me again everything on there. I can hit episodes, and it's going to show me some episodes. It's not going to show me as many as it does on the podcast app, but it's going to show me some episodes there, like the last eight. And the cool thing about this is, again, I can play it. You know, I'm, I'm going to push pause here right now. If I like it, I can put a thumbs up and hit the thumbs up on there because that's what's going to ask me. If I like those, it's going to recommend um, some other podcasts like that for me. Now, if you look, it's got your, you know, it's got your little scroll bar up there so I can go through that podcast up at the top in the blue. If you hit that equalizer, you can go forward. It looks like it's playing on four seconds. If I go out forward, now it's at 36 seconds and, you know, it does the same thing there. I can do the speed. I can bookmark it. It's pretty cool. But if I want to download it, I'll just hit that little plus button at the bottom there. When I hit that plus button at the bottom, it'll turn blue. It said added to favorites. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to go back to my little box there. And if you look at my stations, there it is. It's in there. And I can just, when I click on it, you can see all the episodes now are there. And it's pretty cool. And the one thing that if you go back to my all my shows here, it's downloading. Uh, see, it right now on my phone, it's downloading that episode for me right now because I've got it set to automatic downloads. So uh, it's going to download that. I wish I could stop that, though, because that's really what I wanted to show you next was how you can make sure all of these, if you see those little uh, arrows that point down, next to, there you go, next to all the podcasts, it actually downloads the last or the most recent episode. So when you're in your car, you're not going to use up all your data time on your on your iPad or your iPhone or uh, your smartphone, uh, and it downloads that. So you can listen to it, and it's not going to, it's not going to take all that time up. Now, if I click on, if I click, oh, wait, 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 I don't want to do that. I want to just go to that little green box. It says favorites playlist. If I click that green box right there, which I'm going to do right there. All right, you can see to where it says favorites playlist is on. And if I hit refresh, it's going to automatically refresh all those shows. So it's going to make sure all the last episodes, when a new podcast comes out, it'll automatically, when you go to Stitcher, download that episode onto your phone, just the one and get rid of the other one. So it doesn't take up all the space on your phone. And only when you're in Wi-Fi, download only, that's what I do. Uh, you could do it when you're on your, you know, when you're on your data plan, but I don't do that. You can clear all your downloads and, but really your favorites playlist is on, it'll refresh those. And that's a cool thing. And so you can see how it downloaded that episode. So out of all my episodes, just that one, if you look at is the newest is downloaded. So the rest aren't downloaded. So that's kind of a quick, that's kind of a quick uh, summary on uh, what podcasting is and what podcasting is all about and how you can download podcasts. And remember, for me, it's just one way that I can talk to you and a little bit about what you want to know about tennis and and I want to be able to be that guy that can give you the information that you're looking for, whether it's through myself, like I said or whether I'm talking to another pro, you know, across the country or in another, in another country, or if, if it's a, just a quick one you want to know, I can answer quickly. I'll do that as well. And that's where you can push the big red button on the website. So hopefully uh, I'm going to click out of this right here and I'm going to, I'm going to turn off my airplay real fast here. I can remember how to do that. Here we go. All right. And that's off. And, uh, Hopefully, what you'll be able to do is weekly come to this show. We Hopefully, that you'll go to our Facebook page. You can ask us questions there. You can ask me questions on Twitter. And I'm at Real Tennis Net because Real Tennis was taken and Real Tennis Network won't fit. So it's at Real Tennis Net. 
And our Facebook page is Real Tennis Network, obviously. Our YouTube channel is Real Tennis Network, all in one word. And that's where you can catch our videos. And you can catch your videos on the website. So hopefully you got a little bit out of this uh, introduction to podcasting and kind of how you can listen to podcasts. You can go on the computer whenever you want to realtennisnetwork.com and listen to the latest episode or other episodes if you have your laptop handy. Or if you don't, Hopefully you found out how you can kind of uh, download it on your smartphone or your tablet and you can listen to it in your car, at the beach. I listen to podcasts when I'm mowing the yard, shoveling the driveway, well, snow blowing anyway. And uh, so hopefully you will too. So if you have any questions, you can go to realtennisnetwork.com and click on the red button. You can email me at mick at realtennisnetwork.com. You can call our Skype hotline at 231-735-8518. Or you could go to our Facebook page and our Twitter and ask us a question there as well. So there's lots of different ways that you can get a hold of me. And the real cool way is uh, there's even an app on your smartphone where you can have that speak pipe there all the time. So whenever you have a question, you can just hit speak pipe and ask me a question and it sends to me. You don't have to do any of those other things and you have to be searching around for stuff. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed this introduction to podcasting. We hope that you will download and subscribe to our podcast. And if you have any questions, please contact me at the Real Tennis Network.